over to the other semifinals that was dealing with some suspension issues, all of that. But now we go ahead and lock into this one. And uh, production team, help me out here. We're playing till what time and what's the spread on this one? It's plus eight that's on the left. And we'll keep playing till about 3.42 in the fourth. And our max is just dropping stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's just dropping things everywhere. But nonetheless, we've got a spread in favor of F9. And they've got a four-point lead, so they might not even need the spread. Let's talk about this team, man. Uh, you've got Mamba out. You've got Breaker. You've got Warnock. So much of the conversation is about Warnock as he goes ahead and presses just about everyone and uh ifiba in sweden what are your thoughts on this team and then i want to get your thoughts on one of us there, there are a lot of good players in this match you have a jlb former to league player you have babas that is one of the best point guards uh, with breaker in europe you have uh, then warnox uh, fati and mamba that has been playing outstanding since FIBA. He, he really wasn't making a lot of noise uh, for FIBA, but since FIBA, he's been out outstanding. What do you think it is about the international players that kind of makes it tough for them to make it to the league, right? It's like they have to do twice as much, three times as much. Um, why do you think that is? Is it like the visa situation? I mean, you dealt with it, right? I don't want to get into your personal business, yeah. but I know that's a reality of life in the world that we live in. But like, why do you think it's so tough for international players to make a splash or to get even in to the I mean, NBA 2K League. I, I, th I think the biggest uh, gap is that we can't really play against American prospects. So that's hard uh, for GMs and coaches to really judge uh, how good uh, one of those guys are. And also, the visa issues have been a problem over the past uh, few years. An uh, example is uh, I go to market like two months later than the other players, the two times I was in the league. So that's difficult, not just for the player, but also for the team. If you are getting the reps with other players, or you are not even getting the reps you need, and all that. so that is difficult. I'm pretty sure that is a bit smoother now that the COVID is gone and all that. So it's hopefully uh, better now. Yeah, and it's also, you know, it's not just the reps that you're not getting with your teammates, but it's just the bonding as well right there's chemistry that gets built in with the guys when you're hanging out you know going to grab a bike going out to the club whatever it may be just the bonding activities it definitely does make a difference uh, totally understand that standpoint as well but we'll see if they're able to go ahead and make something happen as mamba out gets it over breaker breaker trying to find a little bit of space jigging jagging himself he goes ahead and throws up a floater and he gets that one to go can you do that in real life just have a little have a little floater. I definitely can't. I, I, oh, I, I, shoot around. I can't either. I don't think I can make two free throws in a row. So. Yeah. I might have to go out to the gym later on today and uh, record myself trying to knock down three free throws in a row and see how long it takes me to do that. <laughs> Breaker. But, what, but you know, let's go back to E though, real quick. What's 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 Spain got to do, man? What's going on? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, I think. Uh, this, I'm, just, uh, <laughs> I'm just asking, you know? I mean, yeah. I, mean, spot, but <laughs> I'm, I mean, I think we have a lot of good players, but we need to find the ultimate core. Like, for example, two years ago, I would say, like, Spain was the best of the best in Europe, and uh, now, now I have to say, like, France and Turkey are a bit ahead of Spain. But I just think it's a matter of being better because we went to a game three uh, against France in the game one uh, this uh, this year we were just making stupid mistakes. If we don't make those stupid mistakes, maybe we are in in different thoughts. But it's just getting more into details and be more uh, like professional that if that's understood. So. It's just uh, small details because I think we have the quality to oh, man, I know one thing's for sure. You're happy that Great Britain, Dirk and company didn't make it out there because I mean, there's a little fun little rivalry out there. <laughs> I mean, back and forth. We have fun, but uh, I like I like that team. Like, Inchi, Hazard, uh, Dirk, Sam. 
they are friends of mine, so I really like that thing. It was just some social media uh, brief. Well, I mean, the, what I've noticed on this one, locking back in on this game here, just a lot of pinch and a lot of steals. A beautiful extra pass there from Breaker. Even though he had badge, he found the extra man on the left side. Got the open shot to go. Of course, at halftime, we'll go ahead and say goodbye to Mario. We'll bring in CB13, 2K League champion himself, the FIBA World Final gold medalist. He'll be joining us as Mamba looks to set a pick, gets a wrap. Breaker, he's going to go ahead and lose that ball. A lot of steals on this one, man. What do, what do you think you are going to prioritize as a head coach? You think you're going to lock in on the focus on the offensive side or defensive side? What, what's kind of like your uh, DNA going to be for Duke's Infinitos? As we're about I, I think both both are important, but if you have if you see the things that have won in the past, they translate what they do in defense to offense. So I really think that defense is a priority. I think what you do in defense translates to offense, and what you do on offense doesn't necessarily translate to defense. So it's important to have a good uh, front court in the league to really to really make some shake on defense. Yeah, no question about it. We've seen, you know, Wizards District Gaming is the first one that comes to mind when you talk about defense wins championships. They did a tremendous job to play a slow-paced defensive game plan that just caused a lot of turnovers and a lot of issues for the other opponent. Uh, but Mario, as we say goodbye to your brother, give me your final thoughts on this matchup. If you have a prediction on who's gonna win, let me know. So it's hard, it's hard to predict this, but if I, if I, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's really hard. But I would say F9 because they are winning right now. All right, well, way to go ahead and cheat your way, buddy. I appreciate you for joining me, man. Best of luck so here much. in two days in the draft. Very, very happy, and we'll talk soon. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Absolutely. And as we say goodbye to Mario, let me go ahead and say hello to my man, CB13. What's going on, buddy? What's up? How are you, man? I'm good. I hear a echo. echo. Oh, my, yeah, let's fix it. I think it's the ninja. Yeah, you just got to mute yourself. All right, yeah, we're good now. What's up? Where you at? New York or what? Uh, yeah, I'm back home for a little bit. Um, obviously, relocation is next month, so I'm excited for that. Excited for the season to start. Um, and I'm excited to watch some good basketball uh, here in this, this event right now. Um, I, I noticed some, I think, four of the players from the team that played in the gold medal match are uh, on the court right now. So I'm familiar with a couple of them, which is, you know, a, an added benefit to watching this game. So I'm excited to watch. <laughs> So, see, we timed this out perfectly for you, I promise. But, I mean, we're, we're going to talk about Warnox a lot, right? It's kind of like the main individual who not just showed out in Sweden, but also is now eligible to be drafted and, I think, likely to be drafted as well, especially with a couple of teams focused on international players to build that out, and well-deservingly so. But, I mean, you kind of tweeted about this. So I want to bring it back. You, you're kind of surprised by how well the international players were out in Sweden? Yeah, I think um, there's definitely flashes of what that scene could be if they were given a little bit more time on high level reps. I think, um, you know, a lot of the prospects in America are lucky that they, you know, they get X amount of opportunities to match up against other top prospects. And, you know, maybe somebody plays bad one time, but the next time they come back and they, you know, fix themselves and play better. But for a lot of these European prospects, it's like, uh, it's like one and done a lot of times. It's like you get one shot to play. Like, for example, in this uh, E-FIBA, it was like, you seen the first time we played against France, I feel like they, they added too much pressure onto themselves, if that makes sense. And they were like so hyped up for that matchup. Like, oh, we're going to prove that we're, you know, mm -hmm. high-level players. And I think we won that game by like 40 or 50. But that's not indicative of the players that they actually are, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like they made that game too big for themselves and they let it get away. And then when we played them in the finals, um, they gave us actual, you know, an actual run. So I think that's one of the main um, detractors, I guess I'd say the, the main thing that kind of, you know, sucks for European prospects is they only get, you know, a couple shots at proving to the masses of the 2K community that they really can play. But playing against, I'd say most notably France and the Philippines, um, they had a lot of guys that I could see, you know, playing in the 2K League given, you know, another year or two. Um, and then someone in Warnox's situation, I think he's definitely ready to play um, right now. He's, he reminds me of a lot of American lockdowns and that he's very aggressive. Um, he's not really afraid to uh, make mistakes on either end. I mean, he'll shoot some stuff on offense that um, 
is a little 50 50 so i think he's definitely you know ready to contribute and especially if they continue to kind of clean up that process you were speaking about with mario where yeah. hopefully guys will get over a little easier i know it's easier for mbl because you know they have harry and milo already months ahead but right. um yeah we'll I mean, see. you have to deal with that you have to deal with that with um native yes yeah. so he was native. uh yeah. native wasn't playing uh well he was playing threes in vancouver which is like I mean, if you can get West, that's literally the definition of West. <laughs> yeah. And so exactly. he was playing in threes against like the Wizards were on the East Coast and he's playing on a popper on West. Um, so definitely like, especially someone like Native who we, you know, we drafted with his fives upside, as you see now, like he's definitely, you know, become an insanely good fives player. And that guy right there, Destiny does not miss. That's another thing. Like that power forward from France, he was making every shot like every shot like it was to the point where like dimes you literally are not involved on defense like we're just gonna play two on two um but back to the native thing yeah we kind of drafted him with like a focus on threes you know what i mean like at the time he was yeah. he was more of like a threes guy so not having him for threes or you know having him in like a small capacity where he's delayed and then we don't really know if this means that he like we don't know if that's really his gameplay or not like, oh you don't he's know so if delayed. he's bad or if it's yeah the, uh, exactly <laughs> i so, get like, it yeah and he and like he would have a game where he played good because the game the the uh, game wasn't like that delayed, but then we play against another team and it's like super delayed. So um, yeah. you really didn't never know. Well, for the folks at home that are watching, you're watching the EU Slam Fest brought to you by All Key Shop, UPA, and Hall of Game. Uh, you've got an eight point spread here in favor of F9, as you can see on your screen. And so far, they're looking good to take this game one. It is going to be a best of three. We've had a couple of great guests. We've had Tech, we have Mario, who just got promoted. The head coach of Dukes Infinitos. Shout out to him. Really, really excited to see what they do here in a couple of days. I would say I'm excited to see what y'all do in a couple of days, but you're kind of taking a back seat. You're all set. You're just waiting to see what everybody else does to take down the kingdom that is Warriors Gaming Squad. Yeah, I think, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I think it's kind of, you know, it's a blessing to have the whole team, but it is kind of fun to like be one of the teams that are on, that is drafting because you can kind of wreak havoc like we did, I would say. <laughs> Season three, when we, you know, we traded all the way up and got uh, Hezzy. And then Hezzy, last yeah. year, last year, you know, we went and we got Kenny, we got Native. We, we kind of switched everything up. So it's fun, honestly, because it, it's, I don't know, it's like, a, it's like a, uh, a glimpse into like what professional sports teams do. Like you could just change something. Like literally the Kenny thing, Russ and text me maybe an hour before the draft. Like, yo, I think we might get Kenny. I was like, all right, sounds good. Like that was not even like in the four months of prep like so it's just that's the fun aspect of being on the draft like you just never know what's about to happen some people some teams get uh you know patient some teams you know try to jump the gun and try to do stuff um that they weren't planning on doing so it's a lot of fun but i'm definitely thankful you know for the uh having all four five of us back no complaints we've seen that way too many times we're on draft day you see teams make a trade and you're like that's a reach of course you know i don't want to call out any player names but i'll call out the teams with the Hornets and what they did last season, going all the way up to 15 to grab somebody. But nonetheless, got about four seconds left in this one. He's going to go to take a shot from the top of the key, and that one's not going to go. We are going to play for about three, four, two, right? So that's what the game is going to end officially. But they'll keep playing it just to avoid any bans whatsoever. But around the three minute and 42 mark, the game in terms of our tournament will officially end and then they'll just kind of milk the clock the rest of the way to ensure they don't get banned hopefully they milk it the right way or else 2k will be like hey you know uh, yeah. here's what we'll do at the three at the uh 342 mark we'll go ahead and end the game uh, we'll get a couple of words from cb and then we'll take a break and then we'll come back for game number two when it's time and then of course after that we'll be joined by cb13 and then sometimes in the finals, Nick will be joining us as well. I, I interesting that the I, I kind of want to figure out why the whole France national team like they play with separate people. Like I feel like maybe, just stick together. Yeah, I mean, why not? In my opinion, I feel like why not? Because yeah, you know, that's you the first that thing I saw. Yet. I agree. I don't know. I I think it's like just different. <laughs> What the? What is it? Well, we've got the production. Oh, damn! Wow, damn! What a block there. Uh, what would you say, Max? I don't know the world can. Yeah, no yeah, problem. problem. So, so the, the broadcast can, can hear me. me. Uh, just, <laughs> just saying, saying. 
as, as a, coach, a coach, just a different, different of, mi- of mindset. So just not walking the same way when when mm-hmm. it's uh, when we talk about the game. So yeah, I, I, they worked together like two years ago, uh, Warnox and Breaker especially. But uh, it, it was better for them to split <laughs> to avoid any any fights mm-hmm. or any anything else. Yeah, I can understand that. I, 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 uh, it's kind of like how even the... my life as well. Yeah, it's kind of like how on the U.S. side of things, right? And that's going to be the 320 mark. Um, I believe that should be game. If that is, we can come back to us if needed. Um, but it's it's kind of like us in the U.S., 